My father was never talkative, so I really never knew, knew him as a person. And my mother, she would talk, but then it never kind of seemed to say, sink into me. And I guess she didn't do a good enough job. <laughs> well, who were you closer to, your mother or your father? Closer to my mother than my father. Who, which one were you closer to? I think I was closer to my mother. Yeah. That, that, that usually happens, happens. Yeah. yeah. Were you close to your parents? I was closer to my mother. You were? Mm -hmm. You know who my mother was? You. I was your mother. Yes. You mean your mother liked me and decided I should be something? <laughs> you are my mother. How can I really be your mother? You then? are. I don't know how I to be. Know. Something went wrong. <laughs> Indeed, yeah. <laughs> well, we did something peculiar. I, say the least. Well, I, I think something went right. That's how it well, worked out. Well, that's how it yeah. reversed. Uh -huh. <laughs> But of course, I would always know you because I've known you since you were little. You knew me when I was born. Were you really? Because I was across the street or something. Where were you born? What street? 169th Street in Flushing. Oh, well, that's where all of us lived. Right. 169th Street, yeah. So I, know, I knew you, I knew Francis. I knew, um, oh, wait a minute. All along the way, there were certain milestones. There were certain, you know, there was the, the first time that she said to me, how exactly are we related? Or the first time she asked me if I had any siblings or if I had ever been to New York where I was born or if I had ever met Banish my father. Um, there was the first time she asked if we had gone to elementary school together. And little by little, you know, you adjust what shocks you. I don't think I know many people left from, uh, where did we start with? Well, you started in San Francisco. Yeah, I guess I did. And then you went to New York for a long time. Who was I? Was I with somebody and in New York? You met Banish, and you lived with Banish for almost fifty years. You mean working with Banish, or what? Yeah, you worked with him and lived with him. I didn't realize that. Things have not been easy for him lately either. How's that? I, I'm not sure if he's healthy or not. And, uh, no, I think it's health and, uh, it could not like, it could be a short, um, uh, life. Well, you know, Banish died about five years ago. Yeah, and nobody told us. Wasn't that it? No, we knew. You were there when it happened. Oh, and he was, he's been gone, of course, since then. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I realized it, and it was in the muddled stage for each of us. You know, we each had a, a, a relationship with Benish. And then he was gone, and he was a different person. Not, but we knew he died, and uh, it just never came back again. It couldn't. Right. Yeah. So it wasn't easy, and uh, you don't just change people. They're gone. Hi, it's Debbie. Hi, Debbie. How are you? Fine. How are you? Fine. And I don't know why we don't get together more often, but we don't seem to. Well, we got together last night. 
Oh, heavens, what did I do last night? Last night we all had dinner together. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm in, I'm in disgrace. <laughs> oh, that'd be awful if we all failed the course. <laughs> do they give grades now in school, in college? Well, we're not in college, so we don't have to worry about it. Oh, we don't do anything then anymore. You don't get... Uh, or college grades. No, we don't have to do that anymore. Oh, what do you do? Do you do just passing or what? Well, we're not in college, so we don't have to worry about any oh, grades. So it's it's whatever the university decides that we'll talk about. Uh huh. I guess. I don't know what else they do. How old were we when we sort of got into it? Uh, life, not life, but uh, at the uh, media, medium size age. Well, I guess I'm in medium size age because I'm 45. You're 45. That's medium. Yeah, and I must be uh, near 50 then. Older than that. Is it really? 50 something then. 60? You know how old you are? 84. I'm 84. I never thought of that, Debbie. I haven't thought of my age in years. For the longest time, I still insisted on truth, reality being important. So she would say it was April when it was May, and I would say, oh no, it's May. And finally, it dawned on me you know, I have to be out of my mind. I mean, what does it matter? First of all, so she'll say, oh, it's May, and the next minute she won't remember that it's May anyhow. And secondly, what does it matter if she thinks it's April? If she was really convinced that we were in the sorority together at UC, or we were in elementary school together, at a certain point I realized, why not? Why not say, well, actually, no, I haven't seen any of the AE5 girls lately, as opposed to saying, well, no, no, I didn't go to UC when you did because I'm your daughter and you're that much older than me. And it was a liberating moment when I could just say, no, I haven't seen anybody from AE5, have you? And it was kind of light and fun. And then, and then the, we were in the moment, and the moment was we were two old friends trying to reminisce, and the content didn't matter, it was the feeling. <laughs>